We haven't done this in a while, have we? No, we haven't. Now I'm gonna put in the reverb for for you guys. The scumbag seller of the week. Week week. I said I'll put the reverb in later. Yeah, well, you know, reverb that <laughs> reverb. Um, this, this is, is this is a fucking mess of a story. You can start it then. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, just, I mean, so it's not under. Someone Atari in games Australia <laughs> was put an Atari up for sale. Put an Atari. Yeah, with five games and twenty six hundred. Uh, yeah, and one of them was a box complete copy of Air Raid. Air Raid, if you didn't know, is probably the rarest known. It's one of the rarest games. Yeah. Um, you can go into Gamma Attack or Red Crossing, but it's the holy grail of Atari 2600 collecting. Correct. And um, it, it's, it's hard to, to, to start the story because it's weird. So basically someone saw it and did a side door. Someone saw this and did a side, a side door deal, basically, um, and went over and offered about a uh, five hundred dollars. We we think that's what happened. We're not we sure. think. We think. Well, a lot of this seems it's, fabricated. It's, it, yeah. Then another one goes up for sale. Looks a lot like the original with a sticker slightly moved around. From the same seller. From the same seller. Um, Air Raid is very unique in the fact that it comes in a, a sky blue shell. Uh, with a T handle on the top. And the pictures of this one show a T handle on the top. But when you compare it to the original, it's obviously a fabrication. Someone took a blue PVC T joint and super glued the fucker to the top of the cartridge. Yeah. Painted it blue. Painted it blue and slapped the label on it. Because... Oh, by the way, this is courtesy of Atari Age. Um, they seem like uh, a, a good group of people to, to hang out with. I'd, I'd have a beer with them. Um, they pointed out that one of the more hilarious aspects of this cartridge is, uh, you, if you look, you can actually see the paint flaking off on the bottom of, of the cartridge. Yeah. So, anyways, um, they get into this whole back and forth, uh, the Atari Age forum, with this uh, lady... Uh, who says that it was her father-in-law's, and she's just trying to sell stuff, and uh, she's not saying she's not well, claiming her deceased father-in-law. Her deceased father-in-law, right? Deceased father-in-law. So we're going for the sympathy. Like, look, if someone lost a family member, that's sad. But this is classic scammer 101, sure. right here that we are seeing. I don't know what I have. It's from a deceased person's estate. I can't tell if it's real or not, so tell you what, let's meet in the middle somewhere. So, so this is what probably happened. They run this weird story about, like, the same events in 2010 where it just happens to be in the picture. It's a rare game that's worth a lot of money. And then they close the auction to gain credibility that, hey, I sold this to someone cheap, and I happen to have another one. Not just a game that there's only, like, three in existence that are box, but I got two of them. Um, so it builds some sort of weird credibility. They sell the second one, and then when people start looking at the picture of the cart and realize, Does, are those glue marks? Yeah. Is that two different pieces? Because an air raid cart is one plastic molded piece. And there's no overlap. Like, it, it went, But there's huge overlap Plus, on the... On the uh... As someone pointed out, the box looks like shit. The box looks clearly like like a scan of one that already exists, because right. there's only a few of them. So, that, it has the same creases on it. I think it's the so. guy who runs Atari Age... It, so there was a picture of his there's a picture of his box and you can see creases in the lower uh, left hand corner of his box and not only does the counterfeit box look like shit in terms of DPI but um, oh, you, can, you see. can see where they used the picture <laughs> the previous picture to make the counterfeit box yeah. because there are fake crease marks yeah. in the lower left hand corner. Yeah, so if you're trying to do a fake air raid, it's pretty tough for the boxes because like I said, there's like three boxes so if you do a, an air raid box fake there's not much to go off of in terms of, of faking it. It's not like trying to fake a, even a stadium events box where you can find a lot more pictures. Like I said, there's only about three boxes and it's not like this is a, a, a who cares because a complete in box air raid went for like over $30,000 a few years ago. Yeah. 
Like this game is so incredibly rare that they weren't entirely sure it was called Air Raid until they discovered the box, and that was only like six years ago. Right, because the you label know, doesn't like that. the label doesn't say the label it. Doesn't on say there. It. So what was even weirder was they they actually went back to change the story. Now, of course, they know nothing, right? I mean, they're innocent. Ah, they're, they're totally. Innocent. I got a dead dad well, or something. Well, what we've been told, we what we didn't show in the picture, what we didn't notice before was that it says beta copy on the outside of the box. And it says beta copy on the manual. So uh, what we might have here, the reason why the handle might look weird, is because we have a, a fucking totally unique thing. You fucking scum fucks. They're not going to put a beta copy of anything in a production box. For a company that they're not even still clear about where the hell this came from, by no. the way. But, um, but you're not going to print, you're not going to do a full label for a beta. Essentially, a prototype. Yeah. They're not going to do a full label, full packaging. They're not going to put a fucking manual in a beta copy of a game. So yeah. that's also horseshit. So Menavision, which was the people that published <laughs> this, they think there was some sort of, I think, um, you, Atari Age people, correct me in the comments, that I think they thought it was some sort of based out of some subsidiary in California, I believe, but then it came from somewhere else in maybe South America, I think. It's a weird story like that they're not even totally positive. Again, it's so like the game was coded somewhere imported, else and then and then they imported okay. it. Um, again, like this is a game that loose goes for thousands. Um, and again, they didn't discover the real name with the box. They always thought it could be Air Raid, but they didn't find the box until fairly recently. And I think there's only one copy with the, with the manual too. And by the way, this one has a manual. Of course, it's totally different. You know, so. It, the the whole thing stinks. Obviously, the whole thing stinks. This person sucks ass. Um, it, it's funny. They, it, it gets better. I know. <laughs> I think you're about better. to say the same thing. It gets better. Not only is this slander. Pick, not, not only is this pickup only in Australia. So I guess the person went into the Atari Age forums. The person the, who the alleged uh, air raid multiple carts and Rosa. What, Rosa. They they posted updates on the eBay. Yeah, I know. They, uh... <laughs> Going after the administrator of the Atari Age forums, um, saying, just to clear up any discrepancies, this item, the item in question belongs to my late father, capitalized. The advert was written up by my husband, and that's who wrote father-in-law. Uh, then a bunch of other bullshit, again, belonged to my late fa fa father. We're not familiar with this collection and don't know its true value. We put it on eBay, listed it correctly, never mentioned the word authentic, nor, nor are we saying it is. <laughs> Hands clean. It's fake, but we're not saying it's, it's, it's not fake. You know, this goes back to the, the proto, this goes back to the bootleg story I told at Luna. It's you, just because you didn't say that doesn't mean that it's, it, you it, can't. It, yeah, it, it's, 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 it's your responsibility. We were in the process of talking to cash converters, which I guess is some sort of business down there, and also obtaining an AFA rating through a software house or a comic shop. I guess they get it authenticated. Yeah, because you're going to authenticate an air raid down in Australia that easily. Yeah. You know. um, we will also try EB Games. Yeah, that'll work. Mm -hmm. EB Games. That, uh, they, they, they're going to know about an air raid, raid cart. Um we feel that we've been wrongly accused of scamming or, or misrepresenting the item. <laughs> we are open for anyone to come and view the item at any time during the day or early evening. Once again, classic scammer uh, behavior we, when things start to go wrong. We have also notified eBay that members of the Atari Age Forum are trying to shut down our auction. By the way, the grammar is fucking horrific it, in this, by the way. They, they, they space... They space before punctuation and after punctuation. Yeah, so there's like two spaces before the comma and one after. This I could understand and also accept if all the allegations were true. Our advert clearly states its, its description correctly. This product, as mentioned, was my father's. It's the fourth time they mentioned it. Yes. And how it's advertised is correct. It's an air raid game. Because we don't know of, of it of it origins, it's been advertised as is. So I, all I ask is people to keep their opinions to, them, to themselves. And if you have any questions, please email us. If Atari Age continues with the slander, I'll, I will make sure appropriate action will be taken to have it stopped. And then they said they do. I feel that I have been attacked and accused in disrespect to my late father, fifth time mentioned. Any further comments should be refrained. Thank you in one word. And there's more. There's more. So much more. Just a quick note. The, 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 just just it, the clips all, notes. All caps. Yeah. The boys in the Atari Age forum all say this is fake. Let's go with that, boys, if that makes you happy. Fake, fake, fake. Air raid, fake, fake, fake. This is the seller. This is in, in This is the in the auction. eBay listing. This is in the eBay listing, which I'll link to. It which, keeps going. Perhaps you can all throw a party now. Yippee-yay. 
And you call me a liar? Oh, just not sure what I actually lied about. Is there something I missed in my listing? Or perhaps you boys can't read. LOL. Well, and here's what's humorous. Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, but by admitting it's fake right in the eBay listing, isn't that just completely... I mean, I, I, destroying more. the terms of service. There's more than the, in big, bold capital. Atari Air Raid. Old reproduction. Old reproduction. Production. Yeah, I'm sure they glued one together in 1986. <laughs> There's more. I, in saying that the above about being an old reproduction, we do not know for sure at the receiving. It's fucking batshit crazy. No, it's insane. This is absolutely insane. No. I hope they add us to this yeah. auction, because this is great. Add me. Um, uh, Sue me for slander. And then finally... Albert Yeruso, owner of the Atari Age forums this afternoon, was reported to the Cyber Crimes Unit of the Australian Federal Police. Quick, Albert, get a tent and head to the woods. His, his website, Atari Age, has been slanderous against our family by purporting that we are fraudsters. Despite numerous requests were made for him to cease the thread, but all has failed. We have tried to work with him, but all to no avail. Two spelled wrong. T O O. All emails and website links have been forwarded to the AFP for review against him and defamation and bullying, which is a serious <laughs> crime and carries a prison sentence if convicted. I'm sure the U.S. would yes. extradite right away to Australia. <laughs> this is very serious. You fucking bully trying to keep people from buying fake bullshit. <laughs> it's just insane. I would like to thank Atari Age for uh, giving us two fantastic threads in about two months because they really have just the best work reading I've had in, oh a, in a minute. Uh, I so, want to see this added to this thread. Yeah. Uh, and there's questions and answers too afterwards, but uh, you can, it, this is the best, could be the best uh, scumbag seller ever. Come at me, Rosa. I'm just going to say this, if Rosa's your real name, and if if your dead uh, father-in-law had this, it doesn't fucking matter if your dead cat gave you this game. It's your responsibility to know what you are selling when it's a game that goes for tens of thousands of dollars in this condition that you have to do your research for. And then if people say, hey, this is fake, you don't wash your hands of it. Yeah. Which, Re by the way, if you wash your hands in Australia, the water goes the other way around the drain. Boom. Um, yeah. Reoccurring theme in this podcast. Uh, you cannot... You cannot try to pass off something as fake and, and, then, and then be like, and then when someone calls you out afterwards, be like, oh, we didn't know, or oh, all you had to do is ask me, or oh, we weren't claiming it was real. You can't do that. You cannot claim ignorance. It doesn't work with the police. It doesn't work. It doesn't work in a court of law. And please, please add us to this eBay listing. It, it would make my day. It would. It would be an um, honor, Rosa. Yes. yes.